Hey, what is going on ladies and gentlemen? My name is Corbett and I will be your host today for Europa Universalis 4 as we head into episode 58 of our Kedishin Japan run, where this episode we will finish our war with the Iberian powers and and not not Aragon. Um so that hopefully we can put Castile into enough debt where we can very easily simply invade the Papal State. So this will be, uh, it'll be, a l it'll be a lot of fun because what I have planned for us today is hopefully the ability to very quickly and easily head down to Brazil, occupy it from, from, uh, from Castile, and get lots of, uh, lots of power or a lot of war score from that. That'll be great, I think. That'll be pretty nice. Also, right, yeah, sieges are going to happen here from time to time, so I think I'm actually just going to send 100,000. Not 150,000. So we're pretty much just going to drop them right exactly where we need to. And that's it. I know, it works just like that. It really is magic. Also, we're going to put on the epic music once again. Also, I am, um... Rather interested in what's going on over here. I mean, not much development, obviously. We just sort of, uh, we've all kept to our own little islands we started on. Except Portugal, they're kind of gone. They were here, but they only left 4,000 here for some reason. Anyways. Our endeavors in Australia are looking nice. The damage we've done to Castilian North America is beautiful. And we've done uh, a lot of generally good things last episode. But this episode, it's time to focus on one of the last remaining areas of the world that even holds the, uh, I don't know, holds the, the monarchy of, of Castile. Because they're probably kicked out of Castile at this point. And we have lots of buildings left. Or lots of money to build buildings with. So I guess I should make a few... Not that they're very important, but oh well. There's nothing else for me to do, and I'm kind of bored. So other than making a whole bunch of, you know, um, training fields, this is all I can do to occupy myself. Building lots of buildings. In fact, I'll even go speed 2 while this is happening so I can, like, progress on what I'm trying to do. I mean, again, there's not much for me to, to actually do left here. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna move down here. Oh, and my commandant has died. Beautiful. Get the autosave over with. Give me a new commandant, please. Screw it, this guy works well enough for me. We're going to maybe land these guys within the next, I don't know, year or so, I'd say. This one gets to go here, because he has... three siege, and this guy... gets to go here, because... I don't know, it actually was completely random, so, anyways. Hopefully this episode is the episode we finally finished converting Japan, you know, the, the whole namesake was to was to convert Japan to, to Protestant. That's kind of the point. So we're going to get that done. I don't know. Does that involve the Kirills? Yeah, it counts as Hokkaido. So we kind of do need to do that. I suppose if you're doing this achievement yourself, keep that in mind, actually. That means you will have to colonize the Kirills, or if someone colonizes it, you have to take it from them because that's the only way you can get the achievement because this counts as part of Japan, of Hokkaido. So keep that in mind, okay? Also, uh, the new the, the new update, which I haven't been able to play yet. I'm pretty sure there's like a pirate nation that's going to spawn here or something, which is interesting. But I'm not doing another Japan run for quite a while, hopefully. Even though this has been fun, I'm not I'm not going to do that for at least another year, hopefully. Hopefully, at least. I'll lose the admin because it doesn't matter to me. Then hopefully it looks like Castile's coming over, which is great for me. I will I will embrace you with open arms, Castile. Come here. You know, no, come closer. I'm trying to give you trying to give you guys a big hug. Come over here. Also, mm, Portuguese rebels. 
Oof. You land in Sotome. Oh, and the canal is delayed, because of course it is. Uh, it always is, like other public works in the world. Anyways, so we're going to convert that. We're going to move back here. Oh, Castile's running away. Damn it. Get back here. I need the I need the war the war score. Come back. Although we're not based we don't have our war score based on um on killing people, which you know now that I think about it, might have been a better option. But oh well. Right, so we're just going to very casually attack them there, move this way. The navy's under attack. Great, that means we're gonna gonna have a couple of dead ships in our in our wake. We captured one, but it's irrelevant, so whatever. Ooh, more war score, very nice. Um, do you guys have any more forts? Uh, not really, but I guess I can move you to here. If you make it that far, of course. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Um, wait, wait for them to lock. Come on. Ooh, beautiful. Okay. So this should be an absolute win here. Um, where are the rest of my... I've definitely missed something. Where did these guys go? Didn't I have 30,000? I definitely missed something. What did I miss? What did I do? I actually don't know. I actually have no idea what I did. But, uh, yeah, they're kind of gone now, so... Rip. Alright, easy win no matter what, so... Great. Also, can we finish this war yet? Oh, Portugal says yes. Portugal says yes. Beautiful. Okay. Now, will that change if we do anything specific to Castile? Will that, will that do anything? Because all I want from Castile themselves is some of the islands just kind of surrounding me generally, so like this one. I don't care if they have any anything like right of this of this line here. I'll generally just take the stuff in Micronesia, and I'll be pretty I'll be pretty happy about it. Oh, but there's no way they'd ever give me any of this stuff. Actually, way too much. Hmm. So I was thinking, the main goal is of course Mexico, and they'd be willing to give it to me. Next step would be these things. I don't know why this is 8% war score. San Diego is 8% war score. Why is that? Why is that? That makes no sense. Why? For real, why is that? That's an uncomfortable fact. Hmm. Okay. Well, I guess we'll have to wait a few more months, I guess. Also, noble rebels are everywhere. We need to go fix those. Oh, it looks like Bohemia might fix them, though. We'll also have to fix those problems. I mean, in theory... Yeah, okay, Castile's war exhaustion is absolutely capped. Meaning there's pretty much nothing we can, uh... We can do more to Castile. Like, not even... Not even waiting longer is really gonna make Castile give out. We do have to pretty much just take things. And blockade things, of course. One of the more important things to do is blockade. In fact, um, there's so many things to blockade, I kind of just want them to blockade in here. Like, just, just do it automatically, you know? And what is this, Atlantic South America? Sure. Um, I'm missing something, aren't I? Oh, I can't blockade over there. I have options to do this. Okay, I can't do it over here. I can do it over here, though. Okay, I mean, if nothing else, then blockade over there, of course. Uh, one more conversion over here. And we're getting really close to finally finishing it, which is great. Absolutely wonderful. And then we can 
We'll have to move that guy over there, that guy over here. We're slowly... Actually, we'll just take this. That'll probably be enough. Yeah, Castile's not quite feeling it yet, which is fine. And let's get the final conversion in the Kirills over here. And with that, every part of Japan is going to be uh, converted to Protestant, which was, you know, the entire point. That was the purpose. The whole thing. The whole namesake of the uh, what we were doing here. So I'm glad we got it done. I am slightly concerned the fact that there's those rebels are gone. I don't know where they went, but... Put on some uh, some somewhat appropriate music as as the war ends, comes to an end. Oh right, and now I can just go by unity, which is beautiful. This is exactly what I wanted to be able to do. But of course we had our priorities. It still seriously won't won't give up still. Wow. Persistent, huh? Oh wait, hold on. Uh the knights no, the knights still won't give up, damn it. Um, okay, now I'm, hold on, I, I didn't read that message, all I heard was our something vipers, and I'm like, okay, that's nothing like anything I've ever heard before from an event. Oh, that's weird, I don't know what that's, I don't know what that's supposed to be. Hmm, apparently now we have separatists, though, in here, which is not fun. They're not even my separatists, like, come on. All oh, those guys are done, beautiful. Oh, and, yeah, yeah, you know, all these things too. And those ones, okay, we'll just let them all finish. Okay, great. Oh, state maintenance, very nice. Okay, not bad. And then, of course, we could take this if we wanted to, but... What's the point in that, really? Yeah, this is uh, actually going a lot slower than I expected it to. I, if I, like, I remembered for some reason that it was very easy, but and apparently it just wasn't in reality. So weird. I don't know. Just remembering things wrong, I guess. Uh, call for peace. Yeah. Okay. The war kind of is more or less over. The game has a point. To be honest. Um, okay, so they'll concede what I want them to. How about Pacifico Norte, please? Ah, damn it. Okay, they won't give me that. But we'll take all of Mexico, which is nice. Um. How about these things? Nope, nope, they won't give me these things. They won't give me the islands. Damn it. Well, we can get the rest of Mexico, which is nice. Okay. You know what, Castile? I think we'll end this war. I think we will. Portugal has more or less been defeated. Probably more than... Well, maybe not. See, I'm still on the edge. Should I... Should I sort of, like... Have a, have a Portugal-only peace deal? Because I'm not convinced that Portugal will... Will necessarily... Be willing to give me this stuff if I finish this war with Castile. If I if I separately piece Castile out, I don't know what's going to happen. Right, so. You know, maybe I'll just take a massive chunk of Iberia. Nothing more than 100 over extension, of course. Um... Trying to figure out a good balance here. This is a probably a pretty decent balance. So I can take this stuff from Castile. And Portugal. But then I can't take any of the, the stuff I originally want, right? Like, okay, I want this stuff, I want this stuff. Okay, so we can't really take anything from Castile, which sucks. <sighs> this piece deal is going to be a long process, so I don't know if you guys really want to sit through this whole thing. But it is important, it is important to, uh, to truly figure everything out here. 
See, I want all of Portugal, and then all I want, I want all this. And then I also want... Well, I mean, Australia, of course, is going to be given to me. Hmm. Well... Also take parts of South Africa. In fact, all of South Africa. You know, maybe this will be satisfying enough for me. This is it, I think. This is this is solid, I think. Uh, and as for coalitions, um, completely worthless information. Oh, but this is the state of the world now. Portugal has been kind of shifted over a bit, you know. They don't really belong to Iberia anymore. They now exist only in Africa. They are now in African power. In fact, I think it should change them to an African power. Yes, yes it does. Beautiful. So we kind of own this now. Which is nice. Um, I don't know how expensive this is going to be to core. I imagine... If we wait one day... Yeah, a lot of it's going to go to... Uh, a lot of it went to Australia, of course. Because that's where it's supposed to go. So we can actually go by... Uh, other core things now. Um, right, and then if we wanted to, we could have another war with Portugal um, and either vassalize I think maybe a full annex would even would probably do the same thing, uh, but it would give me their colonies, which is nice. But anyways, yeah, now I have all these, which is great. I'll give them a leader too. Um... California is not liking what I'm doing so much, neither is Australia. Well, Australia is big now, so, you know, kind of makes sense. You know, they uh, own what they're supposed to now, so that's good. And me, well, I'm still sitting here with a little less stuff than I would have liked to gotten out of that, but, you know, we still own still own Portugal, which is pretty, pretty cool in of itself, I think. Um, anyways. My big old ship thing... Big navy over here. They're gonna group up together. And unfortunately, New Castile is still a thing, which is disgraceful, but. Yeah, anyways. Um, are you guys. Actually, yeah, I know they're fine. There's no monthly attrition. Okay, cool. That's good, because we're actually gonna need you over here and over there. All right, beautiful. Something is stirring. Oh, okay. It's probably just like an event pop-up that I got. That was like, oh, the vipers are doing viper thing. I don't know. It's definitely because of our spy network in Portugal. Which makes sense now, actually. Speaking of which... Thank you for all the claims. And then for Castile... Similarly, thank you for all these claims. Okay, great. And then if we declare war, Castile will join. We can start another war with Castile, take more stuff. Ooh, this is not, this shouldn't be allowed. This is not allowed. This is illegal, one should say. Goddamn. Because, you know, we can't, we'd be, we'd be, we'd be truce, bracing, truce or breaking if we did that. But if we did this... Azuron, Switzerland. Why are you allied with Azuron? That's weird. Anyways. Switzerland, who would help. And Castile, who somehow feels ripe and ready to fight again. God, poor, uh, Castile doesn't know what it's doing to itself. It really just has no clue what's going on. But anyways, you know, we'll let them keep their, uh, their naivete. And we're going to convert some more stuff. We'll convert some more stuff and... I guess give this guy another general or something. Yeah, let's do that. Right, uh, so how long has this episode gone on for? Let's uh, let's figure things out. We have gone on for 20 minutes, which really isn't all that bad, honestly. So we have a few more things we can accomplish today. Like maybe fixing... All oh, wow, okay. Um, well, I didn't expect that, but okay. I mean, it doesn't matter. It does not matter at this point. Here. Here. You know what? I want the stuff. Will you give me this stuff? Hopefully. 
Because honestly, it doesn't matter. There are no... <clears throat> Jeez, wow. Rest in peace in my throat. Uh, there's, there are like no Russian troops here. Like we can actually, literally, just walk across and take it. So yes, I'm in war again. Oh no, woo, that's fine because our war exhaustion thing is also broken. So that's great. And we're absolutely okay over here. Ming has left the coalition, which is, I don't know, neutral, I guess. Cool, cool, you have one province, or maybe two left, so... Whatever. Uh, but yeah, it also looks like Transoxian is doing their own weird thing. I don't like this at all, actually, but... I don't know, it's just an interesting choice they decided to take here. But yeah, we just need to wait for this to, uh, to finish. I mean, technically, we even have stuff over here in Portugal. I don't know, does that count? I don't think that counts as all, to be honest. Uh, I'm not sure that really does anything, but... I think it must... Like, does it need to be stated? Maybe. It might be state development that's rather important. More than anything else. But anyways, regardless. Provincial unrest is... All in all, I mean, it looks bad if you look at all these things. But let's look at it at... A more broad area, okay? Everything is pretty much two or less, except for three provinces. Okay, it's really not that bad. Just a lot of twos, ones, 0.7s, things like that, right? And that's really, really easily fixed when we do things such as or extension going down. Um, we're also going to move that over here. Also, our development probably just went up dramatically from what we did here. Maybe nothing too big. The Portugal is probably at least a hundred development, so that's solid. But yeah, we just need to wait for these cores to be done, and then we'll, uh, I don't know, invade the Papal State or something. So both these guys are going to go head on to there. More conversions, beautiful. Uh, lose money, because I don't care. I'm going to bring these guys over to here. And really what I am hoping on, or, or sort of betting on at this point, is that um, areas like Madeira, they're going to have a lot of unrest, right? Uh, yeah, they are. Yeah, actually, I'm going to have a lot of issues for that, aren't I? Yeah, so this provincial unrest thing really doesn't really doesn't tell me what I want to know, because it, I thought the highest number was the one at the top, but no, it really isn't. Really isn't. The highest number is probably 15 or so, and it would be in areas like these. Where the, it's, you know, Portuguese Catholic. Not necessarily stuff I can really use. Also, how much do you want to bet that, like, Bohemia is not going to give me any of this stuff? I feel like they're just not going to. If they don't tell you that they're going to give you something in the beginning, usually they don't give you much if they do give you something. You know? Like they will they will probably give me something. It's just not very much. So these guys are coming over here. And um, I guess next up is we're going to declare war on the Papal State. Reinvade Castile. Look at all this. Oh, all the devastation in here is awful. Actually, it's great for us, but really, really awful for, for Castile. But again, really great for us. Anyways, so these three armies are the ones that are going to uh, walk back into Castile and sort of explain to them, yeah, we have to invade you again, actually, because if you take up that call to arms, well, I can't really do much to help you. Also, I could build more, uh, I could build more mercs. Morale damage taken by reserves, that's really, really, really good, actually. Jeez. Um, it's a very, very uh, long explanation as to why that works, but... Oh, just take my money. It's absolutely fine. Oh, lose more manpower? Seriously, we're gonna do that again? Oh, jeez. It is like two years worth of manpower that that is. Or something like that, so... Kind of does suck, but whatever. 
Nothing I can do about it. I'm gonna take some more of this stuff. I mean, we could even invade France for their colonies too. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna get out of hand for this entire series. I'm not gonna get that out of hand. Just Castile, take take Rome. Take Rome as, as of course, Japan. Take some Castilian things. Um, maybe in this war, one against Castile, I will definitely peace out because the Papal State is honestly, it's like one thing and then this stuff down here. That's pretty much all it is. In fact, in fact, yeah, I'm going to bring this guy down to here. That is something I'm going to do. Also, why does Naples own this? Weird. Yeah, really weird. Anyways. Castile's also, or they were at war with Brunei. Actually, they're still at war with Brunei. And you know what? Uh, I was I was actually so close to just hitting... You know, I haven't actually declared war on Sulu, and I just have stuff I should take. I was really close to just hitting the button. But no, I, I can't really do that, because the Ottomans are, would get involved in that. That's something else. Although I would have liked to probably take all the Ottoman stuff before I'm done with this this campaign. I feel like doing the really stupid stuff that shouldn't be allowed is kind of like more fun, so... You know. Sometimes you just gotta make those, uh, those decisions. So anyway, one more conversion. Thank you very much. The cores are getting somewhat close to being done. Except for this one. Because over here we can't do anything. In fact, we can. I'm just going to put them down here first. The cores might finish by the time they get there and, like, clean that up, but oh well. Oh, that's what we had to fix them anyway. So we have Ashikaga Particularists, and those spawn in very different areas. Uh, I'm rather glad that they didn't spawn in Japan proper. Um... Although it looks like they wouldn't, of course, because unrest is like nothing here. Nothing in... Okay, I lied. It's everywhere. <laughs> I meant nothing in here. Everything is absolutely okay there. Also, where's my music? I want to hear something. Oh, there we go. I'm like, why... I'm, I'm clicking on music things, but there's nothing, nothing going on. Anyways. Right, though. Um, we should lose a bit of unrest, which is great. We do, of course, have issues for certain areas still. Like over here, and you should have been fixing that. So we'll do that right now. Also, I think we're pretty much out of time, unfortunately. Like, it occurs to me... It occurs to me kind of right now that we're out of time. And that I should probably put a cut in, in this episode. I just want to make sure everything is... Um, as it's supposed to be. Like moving you over there. Let me actually do a quick, very, very quick um, time check. Very quick time check. Yeah, 28 minutes. We're kind of out of time here. We have to put a pause in right here. Because, well, we have, we're out of time. So, hopefully next episode is the fated war against the Papal State. Um... And then after we're finished that, I honestly have no clue what to do. If we should do one more war to clean things up, or... Honestly, yeah, no idea. But anyways, this is Corbett signing off. Hope you had a fun time this episode. And as always, have a fantastic day.